Hi everyone, my name is Sarah. I'm an educator with NYRP and I'm excited to start our lesson today all about migration. So I don't know about you, but it's been getting pretty cold here in the city. So I've been putting on a big coat and a hat on my head to stay warm. What do you do in the winter to stay warm and happy? What about animals? What do they do? I can think about one really big animal that eats a bunch and maybe takes a nap in a cave. Were you thinking bear? Yeah, so some animals take a really long rest in the winter and we call that hibernation. But some animals, like some birds, might be too small to stay here in the winter. They can't find the food they need or the space, so they have to travel somewhere warm and we call that, you got it, migration. So for us, it might be easy in the winter. We can put on lots of layers or stay inside if the weather is really cold. For some animals like the bear we were talking about, they take a really long nap called hibernation. And some animals store food so they can eat it slowly throughout the winter and they don't go hungry. Even some birds like this red cardinal and this blue jay stay here in the winter. They can find the food they need. Or this American Robin. It can puff up its feathers, kind of like a big winter coat, and it's able to stay here in the winter. But for many birds, they have to travel somewhere warm, and we call that migration. You can kind of think of migration like a road trip. If you were gonna go on a really long road trip to somewhere different, would you wanna bring some things with you? Look around your room. I'm sure you'd wanna bring some games, but you would also probably get hungry, so you'd wanna bring a snack. You'd probably get thirsty too, so you'd bring some water. And by the end of the trip, you'd probably be tired, so you'd wanna take a nap. For animals, we call this shelter. When birds go on these really long journeys, they need to find food, water, and shelter. And they have some challenges along the way as well. We're gonna go ahead and start our lesson here on the introduction page. Then we're gonna move on to the activity, and at the end, we'll review. Are you ready? Let's get started.